Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Mechanic coming back to you with another video. Um, sorry for my demeanor. I'm dead tired. And I slept all the better part of the day. So, we're out here in the old Hondon. Um, trying to clean it up because I got a three day weekend here. And, uh, Again, guys, I apologize. Um, but anyhow, I'll flip y'all around and show you what I'm trying to do. All right. Now, minus that, you own a Honda this gen, which is the eighth gen. You already know what that's for. Or the rotor band. Um, so I'm trying to get the center console out. Um, got the two bolts up front, got the two bolts in the middle. I know it's hard to see, but I got the two bolts down there too. And, um, oh, here's something. That y'all might be interested in knowing about. This, my friends, is a focus MP shield, nine millimeter. That's right. points of course because that's the only way to run it um haven't really taken it to the range bought it about a year ago shot it a couple times out of a year lease but other than that haven't really messed with it <sighs> For those of you that are into guns, just comment down below. Tell me what your gun is, or you know, what your favorite gun is. Why not? I'd definitely, definitely like to know. I'm into guns, cars, anything American. Um, so now here's the weird part, guys. Okay. Now, once you get all the four bolts out, okay, back to the video, sorry. Once you get the four bolts out, Honda, I guess, decided to trick us. You know what I mean? There's a Torx bit right there. Let me see if I can turn the light on. I guess I can. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, never mind. Okay. Also, right over here, there's a torque pin right there. And now, I'm no wise man, but I would assume, I'm looking, guys, sorry. I would assume that this metal section comes out. Because what I'm having problems with is actually getting it out without having to remove my entire dash. It's not what I want to do today. Because what it does is, it's on this side here and on this side here. goes up underneath here. As you can see, get my fat hand out of the way. As you can see, it kind of comes around like that. Now I'm pretty sure I can remove this panel. Got a money maker right there, buddy. Look at there. Looking for any broken clips. 
that outside. I'm gonna clean that. Um, I'll put it to you this way: if there was a smell of vision in here, oh well, looky there. That'd be a good reason of why I can't get it out. Ugh. Ah! Hang on. Butter knife to the rescue. It's just what I had in my car from lunch one day. <laughs> it's clean. Don't worry, it's clean. See? It's clean. I didn't use it. I just... I just... You know. Okay, that's not going to work. It's too clumsy. Okay, so... I'm trying to figure out a way I can prop y'all up because I don't have a dang stand. Um, this tax time, guys, I am definitely, definitely going to get a GoPro. With a stand, with a tripod, something. Where I can give you all the content y'all deserve. Because this is... Potato. Potato. Okay. Now, for anybody that has motion sickness, I should have said this before. You know, kind of one of those oops kind of guys. Anybody that has motion sickness... Post it down in the comments below. I want to know about it if I got you sick or not. <laughs> okay. If I can turn the camera away, I can see me. You sorry, some of my biscuit. Aww. There it goes. Look at there. There it goes. Yeah, on these clips, I'm pretty sure y'all know already, but I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all anyways. It's got a little bitty lip right there, as y'all seen, in, you know, me trying to get it out. Basically, just pry that up. A little collar comes out like that, and you basically pull it out. Pull it out. Okay. Now, let's see. as if something's holding it still. Hmm. Hmm. Reach it down. You know, I was going to show you all that clip, but uh, it has seemed to have fallen into the depths down there. Like, literally, like, put it over here and like, it just, yeah. but there was one over here. So, just be mindful of that when you're pulling out your center console, because what I'm trying to do is actually pull it back. I'm pretty sure we just got lucky. Yeah, these two Torx bits hold this little piece in. This little, this little piece that covers up the e-brake. A little beauty section or whatnot, I don't know. There we go. Spin it's out. So, you got two screws. Two screws down there, or in here. Um, you don't necessarily have to pull this off your lid. I'd leave it on there because mine on this SI, it actually moves forward, even though the center console is not attached anymore. Um, and then you got to that clip on this side. You got to pull this tray off. That tray, by the way, I got the seat out. Um, and then there's a clip. Let me get the center console out, and I'll do a part two. I know it's going to be very brief, and I do apologize. Um, let me do a part or. or I'm gonna do a part two of this video to show you, you know, my actual reasoning behind cleaning this or actually taking it out. Okay? Alright guys. I'll be back. Be safe. Peace. <laughs>